customers, um, there's two things that we see. Um, one hand, due to an audit, they are kind of being forced to buy something new. That's a difficult thing. Uh, depends on how much legacy you have and how big you are as a company. You have the power to negotiate. That's one. On the other hand, if you're just a, a little bit smaller company and you have less of that power, buying power, you actually have not a really lot of other options than to buy whatever is there. So then Adobe would say, yeah, this is the regular channel. You can buy via our resellers cloud, period. And uh, this is where uh, I see the difference between if you have more buying power, you have more to, to deal with. Way of getting to Adobe software, I think, is via a indeed cloud registration. So what they did is the former volume licensing has been really made online fully, and the only way for you to get the software is through this. So you need to buy it first, um, but the download itself is still a download on your regular machine. It's on all your devices. So indeed, this is one of the cases that people don't understand, where. They say, okay, I bought Adobe Cloud, but I still have it on my machines, which makes it sometimes difficult for customers to, to say, okay, but we sh should we not manage this? It's a difficult thing for them uh, to, especially if you also have on-premise uh, installations before. That different uh, worth uh, mentioning is that um, if you're in a network, and try to find Adobe software, uh, making the difference between on-premise and cloud, it's almost not possible for most end users. So what you see here is that Adobe is driving timelines uh, very heavily, um, and this is a mutual thing between the sales and the compliance department. They are mutually working towards a, uh, yeah, an end uh, of that deal. Um, and most customers are not, uh, they are surprised by that, and they are not knowing how to, um, to respond to that. And we advise them to be actually more take the, the proactive stance, work with the sales force of Adobe and the compliance team, so it's in their benefit to control that timeline as well, which is often also in Adobe's benefit because uh, in the end of the day, most of the customers want to do a deal as well. Patrick will be speaking at both our US and UK conferences this autumn. To find out more, go to itassetmanagement.net forward slash events.